Hi everyone, welcome to the session on Python scape characters where we will learn about the single quote character, double quote, how to print it in the using a print statement, then how to use the backslash, single uh, new line character, carriage return, tab, backspace, form feed, octal value, and the hex value. So let's start. Suppose I want to print a single uh, quote in my print state. So let's start. Suppose I want to print single quote. So will it work? No, right? So in order to print a single quote, what I will do? I have to give up backslash. Now, if I print this, it will be printed. You can see here, right? Single quote is being printed. Now, if I want to similarly, my double quote will not work. So, if I give a backslash here, it will work. Now, suppose if I want to, I want to print a statement, it's raining. Will it work? No. So, I have to give the single uh, escape character slash backslash and then now it should work. So, it is working like this. Now, suppose there is a name, okay? name Sachin Ramesh and I want to print the middle name in quotes in this double quote so how do I print this if I simply try to print this I'll say print will this work no so in order to execute this I have to give okay even if I give this double quotes here okay even after that it will not work so in order to to execute it successfully we have to give a backslash because so now if you execute this the middle name is coming under Ramesh okay, is is coming under the quotes now after this what will the so so we know a single uh, quotes under double quotes okay by using a uh, backslash now suppose if I want to print okay I want to print single slash double backslash triple backslash and four backslash so if I want to print that what I have to do print you have to give here okay so if you give two backslash the way to insert one back so if you want to print one backslash you have to give two and in case of two you have to give four in case of six you have to give three and so on so in case of two you have to give four backslash in case of three you have to give six backslash in case of four you have to give eight so you can see here right it has been uh, properly it is being displayed now so we have uh, covered single backslash and the uh, single quote and the backslash even we have covered the double quote now what about the new line and the carriage return which is the one of the most basic and so suppose uh, if i say here hello what if i am printing it this is being printed in a different line right so instead of this i what i can do is i can write slash and okay now if i execute this now so instead of writing two line of code with one line of code, we can achieve the same. Now, what is carriage return? And before that, I'll show you what is tab. Suppose if I say print tab has a lot of issues in Python. So if you are not uh, like uh, comfortable, try to use expand tab, which I will show you. Suppose if I say uh, before that, I'll print this print one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. Okay, there are ten characters, and then I'll say slash t hello if i execute this you can see here tab is my four characters right and then i have hello which will start if i want to have a tab of eight bytes okay in that case what i can do i can use expand uh, tabs function i can give here and uh, what should what is my tab size if i want to give eight bytes then let's see how it is printed will three print all the three lines so to explain it properly i'll print this one two three four five six eight nine zero here and then i'll print this uh, statement this line so if you can see by default the tab is four byte but if you want to change it as per your requirement you can change it okay so by giving this expand tab function now i'll explain you what is uh, carriage return suppose if i say print hello slash t world okay and then if i'll say print hello slash r what will happen in first case in the first case play it will print uh, hello then tap of four bytes world and then in the second case it will only print world why because in case uh, in case of carriage return r it will print uh, h e l l o hello the moment it uh, encounters slash r it will go to the first position here suppose now it is in the first position edge then it will uh, read what world w o r l t so it will display world now i'll give some more uh, better example okay suppose we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 then slash r and then we have hello so in this case if you print here what will happen the first five bytes will be replaced by hello and then we will have 6 7 8 9 execute this right so if you see here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so in this case first five bytes will be replaced by hello 
and remaining will be 6, 7, 8, 9. We'll see what is backspace. Now, in case of backspace, it is simple. You will say, see, as per our, uh, I've completed single quote backslash new line character and tab and backspace I'm covering now. Now, if I say hello slash b world, if I execute this, what it will do, slash b will remove one character on the left hand side. It will, it's a backspace, nothing but b slash b is backspace. Now, if I have something like double slash b, and then here I'll give four weeks, okay? If I execute them all, okay, one by one. So you can see in for, at the first we have hell world, then we have hel world, then we have he world and h world, okay? That in every instance, what it with every time it encounters slash b, it will remove one character from the left hand side, okay? And that's how slash b or the backspace will work. Now after this, we have something called form field, okay? So form field, what it will do? Uh, it will do nothing it will clear my screen print and then if we give slash f okay it is cleared my screen okay so that's it for this session regarding about the octal value and the hex value i'll be covering in the other section or in the other videos i don't want to uh, make this video very large since it's a basic so i want it to be a very short and precise in this session we have learned about the single code double code backslash new line carriage return tab backspace and form fee. So thanks a lot for watching this session. If you feel this video is helpful, please press the like button and subscribe to this channel.